Viewers of Mapogo Lions channel from today we started a new series about general wildlife. Today's topic is the extinct big cats species the legendary Caspian tiger. Native to the lands of eastern Turkey, northern Iran, Mesopotamia aka Iraq, the Caucasus around the Caspian Sea, Central Asia to northern Afghanistan and Xinjiang in western China. The Caspian tigers were generally less massive than the Siberian tiger and their average size was slightly less, in Turkestan male tigers exceeded 79 inches in length though an estimated size length of 110 inches were recorded. Females were smaller in size normally ranging between 63 to 71 inches. The maximum known weight was 230 kilograms 530 pounds. Maximum skull length in males was 11.69 to 14.40 inches while that of females was 7.70 to 10.6 inches although tigers from Turkestan never reaches the size of Siberian tigers. There were records of very large individuals in January 1954 a tiger killed near the Sumbar River in Kopet Dag had a skull length of 15.2 inches which is considerably more than the known maximum about this population and slightly exceeds the most Siberian tigers. The main background color of Caspian tiger, S fur varied and was generally brighter and more uniform than that of the Siberian tiger. The color of its stripes was a mixture of brown or cinnamon shades. Its stripes were usually narrower, longer and closer set. The Caspian tigers were believed to prey mostly on cervids and wild pigs and in the many regions of Central Asia roe deer and Bactrian deer were the main source of their food. They also preyed on Caspian red deer and goitered gazelle in Iran, jackals, jungle cats, locusts, and other small mammals in the lower Amudaya river area sigas, wild horses and Persian onagers in the Mayankale Peninsula, Turkmenian Kulans, Mongolian wild asses, and mountain sheep in the Jonadaya and around the Aral Sea, and Manchurian wapiti and moose in the area of Lake Baikal. In winter, they frequently attacked dogs and livestock straying away from herds. The demise of Caspian tigers began in the late 19th century they were persecuted by large parties of sportsmen and military personnel who hunted tigers recklessly. Tiger habitats were increasingly converted to cropland for planting cotton and other crops that grew well in the rich silt along rivers, which were used as highways for colonization of river line habitat. In early 20th century, the regular Russian army was used to clear predators from forests, around settlements, and potential agricultural lands. Until World War I, about 70 to 100 tigers were killed in the forests of Amudaya each year. And wild pigs and deer, the prey base of tigers, were decimated by deforestation and subsistence hunting by the increasing human population along the rivers. The efforts to save Caspian tigers were started when it's already late. Since 1947 the tigers were legally protected by the USSR, in 1938 the first protected area was established in Tajikistan. Tigerovaya Balka was the last stronghold of the Caspian tigers in the Soviet Union and it's situated near the border of Afghanistan the last Caspian tiger was seen there in 1958. In Iran Caspian tigers were legally protected since 1957. The last known Caspian tiger in the Caucasus was killed in 1922 in Georgia. In Turkmenistan, the last known tiger was killed in January 1954 in the valley of Sumbar River. In Kazakhstan, the last Caspian tiger was recorded in 1948 in the environs of the Ili River the last known stronghold in the region of Lake Balkhash. In Iraq, a tiger was killed near Mosul in 1887. That's the sad story and facts of the Caspian tiger. The question is do we learn from the mistakes we did with nature in the past?
That's it for today we will back again with another video. If you like our videos please consider subscribing our channel. Thank you.